So we have a nice comet in the sky, Comet Neowise, C2020 F3. It's uh, in the northern hemisphere, it's uh, in the morning sky, and it's transitioning to the evening sky. So I suspect that more people will be able to get out and see it uh, once it transitions fully to the evening sky. Um, that comet will make its closest approach to us on July 23rd, um, when it will be 103 million kilometers away. Um, and an interesting fact, this passage around the sun has changed its orbital period from 4,500 years to 6,800 years. I'm Sean Nielsen, and you're watching Visible Dark. This comet was discovered in March of 2020, March 27th of 2020, by the uh, Neowise Space Telescope. And uh, it is supposed to be visible for us and will be visible for us for throughout July. A comet is an icy solar system body that as it gets closer to the sun warms up and releases gas and uh, that's called outgassing. In photographs right now you can actually see two tails emanating from Comet Neowise. Uh, one is a dust tail and the other is an ion tail. So what are some tips for seeing Comet Neowise in your sky? Well, first and foremost, you're going to want to choose whether you want to look at it in the early morning hours or in the evening hours. Um, it is getting better in the evening hours, but it's not uh, very high on the horizon right now. As it gets to closest approach on July 23rd and past that, it'll get higher and higher in the evening sky. Um, that'll be in the northwest in the evening sky. Right now in the morning sky, it's uh, higher and uh, you might have a better chance of seeing it then, but you got to get up early too. Um, usually sometime between 3 and 5 a.m. is the best time to catch the comet. I've had great success around 4.30 a.m. Uh, seeing the comet. It's been high enough and uh, it uh, hasn't, the sun hasn't come up yet, so it's, uh, although the sky is brightening in the northeast, it's not, uh, it's not too bright that it uh, washes the comet out. The second tip for seeing Comet Neowise would be to get an app um, for your phone. There's lots of planetarium apps out there. Um, you can download and install for free. Stellarium is one, they have a free version, and it's got Comet Neowise in it. And you can simply look up the comet in the uh, Stellarium app and uh, locate the comet with the help of the app. So here's Comet Neowise in the morning sky, and uh, it's above the horizon. It's, a, it's about, uh, what does it say, it's about, it's about 10 degrees above the horizon at this point. This is 4.30 a.m. It gets higher as uh, you progress. As I said, the best time to see it will be, be uh, in the morning sky. We'll be looking in the northeast and you'll want to somewhere between 3 and 5 a.m. But ideally, I've had great, great success uh, seeing it between 4.30 and 5 a.m. And uh, it gets... Uh, Sky starts getting brighter, of course, with the sun starting to come up, but the comet gets higher and it's easily visible, as you can see here, um, naked eye and, uh, and a great opportunity to, to photograph it. And it looks really pretty too, with the sun coming up and the golden sky and the comet hanging there. Uh, really quite uh, an extraordinary sight to see. If we move over to the evening sky, uh, if you want to have a look at it in the evening sky, we'd be uh, facing the northeast direction. We'll just advance the time here. We'll go to uh, 10 p.m. That's 10 p.m. local time. And as I said, the comet's fairly low on the horizon in the evening right now. But uh, as the days progress and we get closer to uh, July 23rd, which is its uh, closest approach to the Earth, uh, it'll get higher and higher. If we advance the days here, we can see the comet gets higher in the evening sky. Uh, this is uh, July 23rd right here, where it's actually already quite uh, noticeably high, uh, stand, somewhere around 30 degrees actually in the uh, in, in the height off the horizon. So um, gonna be very easy to find. On a clear evening or night, uh, find a unobstructed view of your northwest and uh, you can use the, uh, the app, the smartphone app, like I said, the planetarium app to help you locate it. Um, if you're having trouble seeing it with the naked eye for some reason, um, you can use binoculars and uh, be a great opportunity to photograph it as well. 
If you have a pair of binoculars, I would highly recommend using them. Um, it could be any size binocular. They don't have to be big ones. Uh, even a nice small pair of uh, 8x50s or, or 7x35s uh, would do really nice. And uh, you can actually, they'll help you see the comet. Those binoculars will give you a, a different view of it, uh, a brighter, closer view, which you'll find very amazing. So let's say you want to photograph the comet as well. Well, taking photographs of the night nice sky doesn't have to be complicated or expensive. Um, you can actually just use, you could, you, one of the first things you could try is your smartphone. If your smartphone even has a night mode uh, for the camera, um, that actually might uh, be sensitive, and sensitive enough to pick up the, uh, the comet um, in the photograph. I actually took a photo um, of my uh, one uh, portable rig that uh, was set up that I was using to take pictures of the comet. And uh, you can, I used the smartphone to take this picture and you can clearly see the comet in the night sky. And that's using the, uh, my phone is a Huawei P20 Pro and it has the uh, night mode built into the camera. So it worked well. Your phone might do a, a really nice job as well. And and uh, so that's something you can try. Uh, the other thing that you could do is if you have a DSLR camera, a Canon or a Nikon with a lens, um, you can uh, take a photograph on a fixed tripod and uh, that would involve just uh, setting, the, uh, setting the tripod up and the camera and lens on top of it, obviously, and uh, taking a photograph um, of maybe uh, five to 10 seconds just to see uh, how it shows up in the, uh, in the photo. And uh, you can adjust it there. I wouldn't go past uh, 20 seconds. You tend to get star trailing at that point, but um, you'll find that anything between five and 10 seconds probably works really well. ISO 800 say, and you could use a 50 millimeter lens or you could use a 300 millimeter lens if you have it, a zoom lens, whatever, is it, whatever it is that you have. Put it on your DSLR, set that tripod up and uh, point it towards the Northeast or Northwest uh, horizon find the comet and uh, take, take some photographs. Now you're gonna wanna make sure that it's in bulb mode, uh, manual mode there where you can use a remote to trigger the shutter. You can get a wired or a wireless version of a, a remote that will allow you to uh, take photos with your camera without actually touching the camera. And that's gonna stop any shaking or vibrations from ruining your image. A more advanced setup would be to use a mini equatorial mount, like a Star, uh, a Skywatcher Star Adventurer. Um, I have one of those set up with a small telescope on it. It's a 71 millimeter William Optic Zenith Star, and uh, that I connected the uh, DSLR camera to it and I uh, had my uh, wireless remote for the camera and uh, basically just same principle, uh, found the comet, located it, put it in the field of view of the uh, telescope with the camera and uh, took some photos. Now in my case, I was taking at ISO 800. Um, it was uh, four second exposures that I was taking to capture this image. And uh, it turned out really well. I was really, really quite thrilled to uh, be able to see the comet in that detail, that close up. Um, I was really amazed when I saw it. In fact, just looking at the comet in that photo uh, that I showed you where uh, you could see my rig and uh, you could see the comet in the sky in the distance there. Um, when I first saw the comet naked eye uh, that morning, I was really excited about it. It was fantastic. And uh, I don't know if you've never seen a comet in the, in the sky, uh, certainly is a real treat and something that uh, you want to take in. So whether you choose just to view the comet with your naked eye or you uh, intend to photograph it, you want to take some photographs of it, um, it'll be a memorable experience, uh, one that you will not soon forget. And if you enjoy it with others, even better. Most certainly a once in a lifetime opportunity. So get out there, have a look at Comet Neo Y C2020 F3. Comment below. Let me know if you've seen it. Uh, let me know if you photographed it. What did you think? And if you've enjoyed this video, uh, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks very much for tuning in everyone. We'll see you in the next video. Clear skies.